Hello there everybody, I am Edward and today I have a, a quite unusual category for GTA San Andreas because you've probably seen it all. Any percent, 100 percent, no major glitches, unique stun jumps, oh I'm sorry, uh, Kaizo mods and whatever, but this is something that you might have forgotten about. This is AMSO percent, a silly little category that I came up with about a few months ago. AMSO percent stands for All Arcade Machines Set Objectives, because yes, in this game you have four mini games you can play in various places like clubs, Mad Dogs Mansion, one of the games is, uh, if I remember correctly, at CJ's place. So the category is just start the file from, just start new game, start from the fresh file, find all four arcade machines and do specific things in each of those games. Why is it not all high scores? Well, I'm going to explain it around the third game of the list, so yeah, let's get ready for this, start new game. We press this and we can start the timer in 3, 2, 1, and go! So yeah, we start from the same place as always, here we go again. Now I need to borrow, I don't know, a bike, a car, you know, a car can be fine. Luckily, three of four machines that I have to find are here in Los Santos in the same place, so I just have to drive the and we can start the party. So now just <laughs> it would be terrible if I crashed in the first five seconds of the game. So let us just go here uh, because three of those games are here in Idlewood. Now where exactly? Well, we're gonna stop here and because they are in the club. Yes, I could be doing some sick moves right here or drinking whatever they're having. But I'm interested in three of those, three arcade machines, and we are starting with uh, this one. This is Go Go Space Monkey. The goal for this game is to upgrade your weapon to the maximum level. So let's play. In this game, you control a space monkey and you have to destroy waves of evil green bananas. I am not making it up, it's exactly the plot of the game. Every time you destroy a wave of those bananas, you get a singular power-up. If you take damage, you lose all the power-ups and you lose one life. You have three lives and you just go with it. I already unlocked a triple gun, which is kind of powerful. Some of them just increase the speed at which you can shoot. And this, this is the maximum power. You just win. With this power, all you have to do is just keep your spacebar held and then occasionally move up or down just to destroy the waves. This is a nice way to program it, but yeah, this is this is silly. And also, I got a high score after the first two waves of enemies. The high score for this game is just 1000 points. If you want to get the best high score, you can do it. I don't know why you would have to do it. But now, because we did it, you can move. Yeah, just a simple 2D side-scrolling shooter. So I'm just going to input my nickname. This is going to be... E, D, N, D. Every time I have to input a separate letter, you know, just from start, starting with A. So remember this, because this is going to be important later on. Now it's time to play B, B, Gone, also known as Let's Get Ready to Bumble. This is probably the least brutal thing in the entirety of San Andreas. And the goal is just to beat all three levels. Well, all three. Uh, the first three levels. This game also goes infinitely. And... We're just flying, as a little bee, collecting flowers and avoiding thorns. I was thinking about getting the high score in this game, but apparently someone got 140,000 points. It takes about four and a half hours to reach the same score again. If I ever go crazy, you're probably going to see me just playing this. And also, right now I have 1000 points, so already after the first level, I get a high score. So this category, all high scores, it should exist, right? No. No, for now, let's just fly, because later in the game, we get more and more thorns, worse layouts all over the place, and sometimes, when I pick up the flower, you can see me picking up two flowers. I don't know if that happened already, but it can happen, because when this game generates new levels, some of the flowers can just overlap each other. You don't see it, because they are exactly 
one on top of another. Uh, but yeah, this this could be considered a speedrun strat. Just waiting for good RNG to have more flowers at the same spot. And level 3, we're just going for 30. Uh, every time... You, oh, this was a double pickup. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, every time you start a new level, you get one extra life. So, if you play you know, perfectly, you can accumulate a lot of them and then use them for some... Some skips, because if you die, the game tries to teleport you to the nearest available leaf. And sometimes you can just uh, hit thorns below the flower to warp a little bit above if you don't want to... Oh, if I, if I don't want to do this, I can just skip. This can be useful, but only... Uh, only a few times. Lives are limited. So I'm just going to collect these two. Now this one, and here we go, these were three levels, and now I can just do this. Yeah, Death, Death Warp Strat is sick. It's it's weird that you can actually do it in this game. So yeah, game over, three levels done. I'm just going to input my name again. So this is uh, E, D, D. Again, I have to start every time from A. So now it's time to quit this. Not even five levels. Not because uh, we have to play this game right now. This is duality. And right off the bat, you can see we have two high score leaderboards. One for 10,000 points and the second one for 10,000 points. So what is the difference between those? Well, let me tell you a little story. In duality, you play as this spaceship you can shoot bullets to destroy some orbs but you have two types of orbs on the level you have white orbs and black orbs every time you pick up a white orb your white score increases by five we're talking about little orbs uh, you cannot pick up a big white orb because it repels you black orbs increase your black score by five and uh, they deal damage to you because they also pull you into their gravitational well. So, how does it work? Because you have two different scores, you have two different leaderboards. Also, if you want to have the highest white score, uh, you have to watch out for your shots, because every time you shoot, you lose one point. But when your score is black, you don't lose points for shooting, so it's easier to shoot, but also easier to take damage this is a and this is really an interesting system for you know uh, different gameplay styles in one game uh, but also it's really annoying and i personally prefer to play with white points in mind uh, but i also pick up <laughs> black orbs because yes uh, so the goal for this game because i didn't explain it before is to get 500 points why not 10,000? Uh, well, look at this. I have 187 right now. Imagine how much I would have, how much time I would have to spend with this singular title just to get 10,000 points on one leaderboard. And also, if you want to create a leaderboard category, do we consider it to uh, have two leaderboards or one? Do I have to get one high score or both? This is why I kind of hate the title, but I also like how its simplicity makes it fun to play, because the gameplay in general is nice. I like the parallax background, I like how this game kind of looks like it was made with, I don't know, Click Infusion or the game's factory with basic sprites. Uh, I could probably recreate it in like a few days, uh, but yeah, it's fine, they didn't have to do it, they didn't have to make more games for San Andreas, but they did. So let's just fly around destroy those orbs. Also, every time you pick up an orb, uh, your fuel gets refilled. This is the green bar in the bottom left corner. Uh, but your health bar, this is a different thing because if I remember, it doesn't refill or it refills very slowly. So you have to watch out for just not uh, running into big black orbs. But I'm just... Come on. Pick this up, thank you. Now destroy this. And we can move on. This game really underlines the duality of a man. Beautifully said. 
about a video game where you just fly with a spaceship. Yes. Uh, oh, a lot of points we can get. If I don't miss, do I miss with this one? Yes, of course I do. But I can just use its gravitational pull to my advantage to fly and destroy it from up close. Now, do we get any more points somewhere here? Yes, this is the one. And uh, maybe some... Oh, another one. Okay, only three orbs required and we can move on. Also, do I have to die to stop this run? Uh, no. Nope, this works differently. And this is... Come on, just pick up one. 500. So, here we go. This is done. In this game, you can press enter to just leave the game. And now, I can input my high score nickname. But this time, every time I type the letter, it the next letter is just the previous one. So we don't start from A, we start from E this time. It's in it is inconsistent because multiple people, multiple companies were working on those minigames. So now I can just quit it, quit it again. So these were three of the games. Where is the fourth one? Where can I find the fourth one in San Andreas, in Los Santos? Well... We have to travel... I'm sorry, I'm, you were blocking my way, I really don't want this. Uh, the fourth one is really far away, because it's here. In the store. It's the perfect place to buy your groceries and play either Duality, but we've done this already, or this game called Go Go Space Monkey. Or is it? This game is called They Crawled From Uranus. Yes, the dogs ride themselves, uh, but yeah, this one arcade machine just has us a different model, different sprite. This is the fourth game we want to play, and this is based on the arcade title called Gyrus. I had a chance to play this in Krakow Arcade Museum, and I have to say this is one of the better games uh, done for San Andreas. Let's play. My goal will be to finish three levels of this, warp three times. Uh, in this game, we control the spaceship that circles around the stage and shoots inside of it. And also, just like in Go Go Space Monkey, we have to destroy waves of enemies. Every time we destroy one, we get one warp point. When we collect three of them, we warp to another level. And that's pretty much it. The next waves just have more enemies, faster enemies. Uh, but I've seen an interesting strat for getting the high score. I don't remember the exact the exact number for the high score, but I know that if you go a little bit further in the game, you can get more points because you get 10 points for every enemy you destroy, multiplied by the level you have. So now I get 20 points for every spaceship, then I will get 30, then 40, and so on and so forth. So, every time you just uh, get extra levels, you can set up for something more complex. Because then you can just keep holding left or right, circle around the level. There is a 95% chance you won't get hit by anything, and you can just rack up the points. Oh, we got it. It was a nice, nice wave. And also, your health bar, you have 4 hits per live because the fifth hit is just game over and this will be time in three two one time so yeah this is just a silly little category that i wanted to show you because hey who else is going to talk about arcade games in san andreas if i'm not going to do it then no one will and yeah, just appreciate that people want to make some small additions to a game that are not required, but are welcome. I really like playing those. Just learning about them was a lot of fun. Uh, because uh, Oh, also, you can quit out of this game with uh, Enter as well. Because these two were made by, I think, the same company. And BB Gone and Gogo -Go Space Monkey had two different uh, creators. And also the same thing with the nickname as before. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. Uh, okay, thanks so much for watching. This was something different. Maybe I will come up with a funny category next time, who knows. Uh, for now, I just want to 
Thank you again for watching. I uh, hope you're going to see more runs that are coming up in GTA Marathon. And just have a good day. I got the numbers for you, Taylor.